Hi, welcome back to Starlight Farm. Today, I am in an absolute rage because I struggle with technology. And because I couldn't simply put a printer onto my computer and make it work, I've been an absolute jackass all day about it. So instead of sitting in front of the computer getting madder, madder, madder about the things that I can't do, today we're going to do something that I do know how to do and we're going to make some seesaw. You're now joining us in the first step. We're headed for the ocean. All right, we're at the shore and uh, we're about to collect some seawater to boil down into some sea salt. We always like to try to get the water when the tide's coming in. It seems like it's clear. Uh, when the tide goes out, it can get quite murky and brown. So, if you want good, clear water, maybe it's got nothing to do with nothing. But my experience has been that it's clear on the way in. As you can see, we have some beautiful, clear water to work with here today. So this is my boy Timber. We're in the middle of making some sea salt. Uh, we're back at the farm and here's what we got going on. So when I bought this place in my garage, there was an old wood stove that wasn't connected to anything or being used for anything at all. So what we did is we drug this wood stove outside and uh, yeah, and this is how we're going to evaporate our, our salt water. So that stain on the front is where I spilled some salt water so you can see how salty it can get quite quickly. On the top we have two uh, units for getting rid of our water. Uh, the, the broader the surface area the better. So we tried something a little different this time. Uh, we added some garlic and some rosemary and Italian spice to the water to try to infuse it with some extra flavors. We've never done it before. Maybe it's a big mistake. We're going to find out. Uh, if it is, I'll tell you later in the video somehow, as I learned to edit. Uh, we had approximately 11 liters of water. So we're a couple hours into this uh, variable heat. So we, I can't tell you how long it takes. You could put it on your kitchen stove on a rapid boil. Probably wouldn't take very long. But as for right now, we have variable heat. We're just throwing some wood in here as we go. So. Here we are, we're approximately, I don't know, I want to say we've diminished about four liters of our water. And uh, we're going to pause the video and we're going to fire back up again later on to show you how it's proceeding. So here we are next morning. Uh, did a lot of water, so it wasn't quite finished. Just a little bit to go to finish evaporating the evaporation so we had to light another fire first thing in the morning but uh, I can tell right off it, in the previous times we did this the salt did come out very white uh, we added garlic and rosemary and some Italian spice stuff in there for seasoning and it already looks like it's going to be very much darker than our previous batches but again like I said we were just uh, we're learning we're figuring this out together we're almost there. And we're getting close. Again, it is discolored. I never ran into that before, so it must be the fact that we uh, added some garlic and spices to it. But So it's not going to be white. Big deal. It's probably still going to taste really good. Hey, okay, we're getting close. Okay, we're finished the, uh, the evaporation part on the stove where we're just getting the majority of the moisture out of it. And this is what it looks like. It will be whiter than that if you don't put the other extra stuff in. And then just get in here. And, uh, I'll use the wooden one. Get this all scraped up. 
and this can be a little bit time consuming, but uh, we're just going to show you real quick. We're going to get this onto a cookie sheet, and once we get it on there, we will put it in the oven for, it doesn't take very long, put it in, I don't know, 300 degrees, just to get that last little bit of moisture out of it. It's a little bit challenging to get all the moisture out this time of year because of the moisture content in the air. It's just, it's August, it's humid in Nova Scotia. But that's why you put it in the oven and just do that last little bit. Okay, so lessons we learned today. Uh, I put this on a smaller sheet, something that would fit in my toaster oven. And I was in a hurry, so I put it on toast just to try to get that last little bit of moisture out of it. And I burnt it. So, I guess the lesson there is you put it on a cookie sheet, take your time, put it in the oven, put it on something low, like 150, 200 degrees, just to, you just want to get that moisture out. I'm going to blend this up anyway and give you a look-see, just one moment. Okay, so after using the food chopper blender thingy dingy, this is our finished product. Again, I did burn it. This is not the way I'd hoped it would turn out. Uh, putting the garlic and seasoning in it did seem to make it uh, a problem for it. it, made it dark. This here is one of the previous batches that we made, and it. Uh, Probably should have been chopped up a little bit finer, but this is what it should look like unless you really grind it up a little uh, soft, uh, finer than that. But, but it is, it's good, it's tasty, we like it. That's basically the process. Uh, apparently there are ways of messing it up because, yeah, the success, success story is there. Here's the failure. Uh, we're not going to give up on this. We might uh, try it and see what it tastes like. If it tastes good, then fine. If it has a burnt taste to it, then uh, so be it. But anyway, again, sharing our failures along with our successes. That's what it looks like. Thanks for joining us. I hope you learned something.